Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about the deaths of Crown Prince Rudolf of Austria and his mistress, Baroness Marie Vetsera. On the 30th of January 1889, the bodies of Crown Prince Rudolf of Austria and his mistress, Marie Vetsera, were found in the bedroom of the Imperial Hunting Lodge in Meierling. Rudolf was found sitting in a chair beside the bed with a table that had a mirror and a glass on it in front of him. Marie was lying on the bed and both of them had been dead for some time. There was no signs of struggle or violence in the room so it was thought that they had both committed suicide by drinking poison from the glass that was on the table in front of Rudolf. It was thought that the poison they had taken was strychnine and they thought this because of the trickle of blood that was coming out of Rudolf's mouth. Rudolf's parents, Emperor Franz Joseph and Empress Elizabeth, were informed of their death and an investigation into the deaths was carried out. So the investigation was actually just centred on Rudolf's death and how he's died and Marie's family were actually told to remove her body in secret. So Marie's body was taken out of the lodge that night and buried in a secret funeral. Now because there was this suspicion that she had actually committed suicide, her family had to get special permission to be able to bury her in consecrated ground. So gossip in the royal court actually put all the blame of this on Marie, saying that she had actually shot or poisoned Rudolf and then took her own life but no autopsy or inquiry was actually carried out on Marie. So there was no hiding the fact that Crown Prince Rudolf had died. He was the heir to the Austrian throne. So when his cause of death was put out, it was put out that he died of a rupture of an aneurysm in his heart. The press soon descended on Vienna and because of this, the official commission into Rudolf's death was opened. It was now said that Rudolf and Marie's cause of death was by gunshot. Marie had been shot in the head and Rudolf had been shot in the back. This made people think that it was either a murder-suicide or that there was actually a third party involved in their death. One theory for their deaths by a good holler was that Marie had actually died of a botched abortion and that then Rudolf had killed himself in grief at her loss. So the commission into their deaths concluded that while the balance of his mind was disturbed, Rudolf had shot Marie and then hours later had shot himself in a murder-suicide. Now that evening before his death, Rudolf had actually been having dinner with his parents. And during this dinner, he had seemed preoccupied and distant throughout it. Could this have been because he knew what he was going to do? Another of Rudolf's mistresses did actually come forward and say that he had tried to get her to take part in a suicide pact, but she had refused to do so. And the final letters that had been written by Rudolf did make references to suicide, though none of them really seemed like he would do it. So the motive for their suicide was that of despair. Emperor Franz Joseph actually wanted Rudolf to give up Marie, but Rudolf and Marie did not want to split up. So because of this, they had both killed themselves. So in 2015, there was an audit at Austrian's Schola Bank and it was discovered that there was this deposit box that didn't have an owner. This deposit box was opened and in it was found some family photographs and letters written by Marie in the weeks and days leading up to her death. And these letters proved that Marie intended to commit suicide alongside Rudolf. Now, in amongst these letters were also Marie's suicide notes to her family and one to her mother said, Forgive me for what I have done. I could not resist love. I am happier in death than life. So that was the story of the sad deaths of Crown Prince Rudolf of Austria and his mistress Baroness 
Marie. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you.